I go by the undeniable name of Damo, never been a lame O. This is weird for me because I'm never on this side, <laughs> but this is Jay Willard, the podcast killer, a.k.a. <laughs> podcast poppy, a.k.a. the pop father, man. This right here is Willard Wednesdays. You know what you're about to get. You're about to get some ghetto news from your relationship gurus. <laughs> yeah, man. It feels weird hearing the name and then your name and then yeah, I'm, like I'm missing that boy Barry. I'm missing yeah. King Lamar. It's you know, I think I think they just they they don't fuck with us no more. That's it. They just That's dropping it. like flies. That's it. This is real terrible. Deal but guess it. what? We don't need them. You want to know why? Why? You want to know why? <laughs> I'm going to tell you why. Why? We got Miss Dynasty here with us. Hey. <laughs> hey. We can, we can do first and last name or just first name? Like, how, how we doing this? We can do Dynasty Smith. Dynasty, Dynasty Smith. Smith. Let's talk about it. All right. Yeah, we're going to talk about it. Let's do it. We're going to talk it. about it. Multifaceted, multi-talented. Oh, we, yeah. have, we have a, a, a singer. We have a podcast host as well. Mm. <laughs> she was so gracious enough to have us on her show. Yes. Which was an amazing experience. Yes. I did not know what we were walking into I had, at I had all. No idea. I had no idea. Lamar's like, hey, we got a show. I'm like, shit, we, we like, got okay. a show. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's yeah. it. Literally, he's like, we got a show. No, no, no. Okay, no. What he said was he was at work and he met this dope individual and she got a show and we got to go on the show and, and her, vi- her vibes is just lit. I'm like, he gets so animated and excited. <laughs> we like, all right, cool, sir. Whatever, whatever you're talking about. We get down there. It's dope. <laughs> Conversation is great. <laughs> it was good. We're leaving like, hmm. Yeah, we left like, wow, really enjoyed it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> really? <laughs> this was great. <laughs> this was great. <laughs> no, man, but but it's, it's the Dynasty DMs Extended podcast. Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. I wanted to ask what the name, like how did the name come about? Dynasty DMs extended. Like, extended. Um, because I started out a... on the Beat Break Morning Show, and mm-hmm. I had a small segment. So I only had like maybe 10 minutes. And then sometime, depending on what was going on, we may not have gotten to my topics so mm. or to my segment. So it was like, you know, people liked my segment. Mm-hmm. And it was like, they were like, you should do your own thing, you know. Mm-hmm. So I was like. Okay, let me think about it. Mm. So then I ended up doing the Dynasty DMs Extended mm-hmm. podcast. Ah. So it was DMs, Dynasty DMs, and then it became the extended, extended version. Now I have my own show, and it's you know the longer version because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I was still doing Beat Break Morning Show too. Okay, so it was like I still had the DMs, but then my show was the extended version of the dms now was, was that a conflict of interest like were they upset that you had your no, own no, like, like you got no, a whole spinoff going not at all i was on the same um i went on yeah it was like a spinoff yeah. basically so i was on the same network thinking out loud network at that time mm-hmm. and then um i started taping my shows and then um i was somebody from black ink saw mm-hmm. the show and was like oh you should consider you know, go into that platform. I mean, so. it, nah, it was dope. It's doing what it's supposed to do. Yeah. I'll say that. Yeah. It was it was great yeah. vibes, great, yeah. great conversation. Like, as soon as we sat in there, it just felt like we was comfortable. Yeah. It was just great conversation. Yep, yep. That's awesome. Good questions. Yeah. You had good questions yeah. that you yeah. was pulling. Remember, because we almost couldn't really get into, like, it, it, it got that. so good. <laughs> and then it was like, oh. It was like, dang. It was like, damn. Yeah. It's yeah. never, it's like, we just never can get into everything like that i have prepared for yeah, the show yeah. but it's good because that means the conversation is flowing it's great organic, conversation yeah and that that basically was a vision for the show is for it to be conversational right. organic and you know just let it flow you know gotcha and if you're really into it then it's like you know the people get into it because mm-hmm. right. you know they know it's just you know a purely organic conversation happening yeah, good. well so, what, what um, we're gonna do um we're gonna have the cards above or something in the description below with your links oh, okay. so everybody can just go directly okay, to your show awesome. and just do because it's, it's a vibe yeah. it's a vibe thank you thank you but not but, but and. It's yes and, and right? Yes and. Yes and. and. We're, we we're learning to not say but. Yeah, because but <laughs> negates the Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm, not try- I'm not trying to negate anything we like, just yes said. Yes and. Right, right. So yes and. <laughs> right. How was y'all week? Like, let's let's talk about it. Mental yeah, health man. check. How was the week? Uh, This is the first time. I, I just moved into a new place. Oh. And this is the first time everything actually worked. 
<laughs> Welcome. Okay. Yeah, nothing was working, man. I, I, I took a shower, a regular one. Like they finally finished everything. Work. You know, okay. The AC wow. is working. Like, okay. Is working. That's that's yeah. Good. It's hot, so right? you you like, need you need AC Bro, down I'm here. Clean. I some AC. Yes. I'm clean. Feels clean great. And cool. <laughs> I'm clean. Clean, clean. and cool. Clean and cool. That's you know. Good. But okay. that, that was. <laughs> That's what my week is. So your week was just getting your apartment together. Fighting with maintenance people for the last gotcha. goddamn okay. week. <laughs> Miss Dynasty Smith, how was your week? Um, so far so good. Uh-huh. Um, it's been um more mentally uh draining a little bit. Uh, well, yeah, actually, that. I did a little bit of partying too. So uh, okay, um, that's okay. Um. That's why you want to party with us. Because he, he was I went kicking to it. a birthday party on Saturday. Mm. Um, had vocal rehearsals on yesterday. Okay. My vocalist did a great job. Shout out to them. Okay. I've um, been working on, you know, getting this whole kind of, I'm hosting because I also do hosting shows. Mm-hmm. Okay. And um, so I'm hosting this, this new thing, this new go go party bus. Okay. Concerts. Yeah, I was going to ask you. Expl- what is that? Can we can we dive what into that? that? Yeah. A you said, you said party earlier, bus. and I was like, oh, "What is that?" Well, I'm I'm really excited. About it. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, okay. It's giving you a VIP experience. Um, I was introduced to um, Nisi Cooper, who owns the Go Go Party Bus. Mm-hmm. She mm-hmm. has been in the business for 11 years. She has okay. eight buses, and oh. they're very very nice um, hmm. party buses. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people rent them for like whatever birthday party they had polos on them stripper poles mm-hmm. yeah, yeah um uh, not all of them but you can request the bus for the yeah. pool if you know bachelor parties weddings blah 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 so people just love renting these party buses mm-hmm. you know and they hold maybe like 24 people um so comfortably and you know you can drink and i mean the vibe when you get on there as soon as you get on there because the way the colors and it's so plush yeah. it's like you just want to party it's like, turn, you yeah ready let's just party mm-hmm. so she um we started talking about she wanted to do a concert series and she decided to do something on the bus instead of doing like you know taking people to a venue mm-hmm. um she decided to having do, the bus be the right, venue to be the venue yeah. so and i That's thought dope. that was dope you know because getting a vip experience and she's featuring an artist um starting out with basically 90s r b because you know a lot of people dope. rocking with the 90s yeah, r b um so as we started talking and she asked me to be the host and then also hmm. perform i will be performing on the okay. bus as well um because i have a single out that i used oh, I, yeah mm-hmm. when i get home mm-hmm. okay, okay, okay i sung the faith evans hook soon as i get home okay in that song so oh, it vibe okay. fits right with the you know 90s r and vibe so the first artist is tony terry the first feature artist come on now um it's gonna be when i'm with it's you it's gonna be a show yes yeah, sir <laughs> <laughs> i know my, so I, I know my music oh you, th- you think you know some music i know huh? my music, okay. you know, <laughs> yeah, my you music. Know, i mean legendary you know <laughs> yeah, what i'm man. saying awesome person you want to grab me for that by the way. i happen to know him and it's just pretty awesome yeah. that's dope and um, you know, I like the. Whole, it's gonna be a whole experience, like you said, a whole vibe. Right. So you, you're starting out at the Holiday Bar on Howl Mill Road. That's where the bus will load, and they're gonna have, um, you know, you can get uh, tapas or um, I think they're discounting like a happy hour drink or something mm-hmm. for our guests. And then your I'm ticket down with free actually drinks, includes or cheap drinks. You know, you say happy hour, I'm <laughs> right? I'm right in. there with it. I'm all in. I'm all in for happy your hour. Drink, your, your ticket actually includes alcohol on the bus. There's drinks on the bus. Mm. Um, you know, the entertainment that's on the bus. So I will also be orchestrating games. There's going to be like a music game. Gotcha. Um, that we're going to play. So you that's have cool. five seconds. Um, to come up with a song, and I'll just tell you, um, you got. I'm gonna give you a word, and you got five seconds. And if you don't get it, you gotta drink a shot. And it has to be a real song. Oh, sure. Niggas gonna be drunk as hell. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's gonna be drunk like a whole hell. experience. Yeah. yeah. And then um, I'll perform. You know, I'm, I'm like I got jam sessions as we're riding. You know, they're gonna be nice. riding through Atlanta and all. And then we'll come and we'll get that feature artist. And their feature artists ha- will perform. Have you ever performed on a moving vehicle? I have I was, not. Because I was that, ask. listen, I have not. That seems that sounds like it's gonna be <laughs> a hell of an experience. You're like, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. you like, you gonna have to hold on. Yeah. The main thing is, I'm thinking, what shoes is I wear? Yeah, yeah all pretty the time. much. Yeah. So I gotta make sure I wear the oh, right no. heels, and I'm not like, oh, what no. the heck? You, you might know? not, you might not want to wear no heels. I mean, man, you want a moving bus? Right. So, might be a, that might be a flat yeah, day. It's pretty, yo. <laughs> yeah, you might have to wear some, flats. To wear some flats. Don't wear no yeah, heels on a moving man. bus. 
Cause that's I know what heels do for the, for the ass, but I'm just saying, no, I, that's what women wear the heels. It like, be poking. Yeah, it be poking. It, it be poking. Saying, you, you be poking. You be falling over. Yeah, the, we got safety. It gotta be something I can hold on. Yes, to. you need I safety on the moving like vehicle. You gonna be sitting in the seat with heels on. No, nah, but that's dope. That's dope. Shout, shout out to that yeah. event. Shout, yeah. uh, Nisi, you said it has the, all the buses. Nisi Cooper, we gonna have to. We gonna yeah, we gonna, yeah, we gonna yeah. get some talks. Cause, yeah, because now you, my brain was turning and she was talking. Yeah, we need a party bus. Everybody said, listen, we need a party bus. Yeah. Yeah. didn't know about it when they know yeah. like, I need a party bus. That's a fact. We, we need a party. Yeah. We need a Willow Wednesday party yeah. bus extravaganza. Did you got video. video of us. We went to Slush on the buses. She had one of the buses pick up Tony Terry in because Slush mm-hmm. had an anniversary. And um, What's Slush? Slush We're not a, from here. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. It's, um, it's on um, Edgewood. It's an establishment. Slush is what? Know, dirty Snow. Stupid. Slush is dirty the, snow. The, you know, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> No, because we we've, we've been on Edgewood. About, but not that slush. <laughs> we we've been on Edgewood. You know what I mean? So it's there's funny. a spot there that yeah. they're celebrating their year anniversary. Gotcha. So okay. She had them pick up Tony and his management and nice. his okay. folks. Okay. And then we okay. left Black Ink. They came to Black Ink to my show and mm-hmm. then we left there and we went on another bus. One of her party buses over there. So oh no, y'all lit! You just catching party buses That's like right. Ubers. Like, like, I'm gonna be back on there on Sunday night, yo. I'm like, I'm like, I'm down. She's yeah, like, Dynasty, yeah. I want you to go with us on the party bus. I'm like, I'm down. And then she's like, It's fine, then what you go to? Okay, I'm good. I'm on the party bus. I'm, I'm partying. So we on there, Tony Terry mm-hmm. on there, and we played one of his songs, and he yeah. started getting to the mode, and we jamming, you know, we on it. So, um, yeah, she got some videos out there. You check out her IG. Um, but I'm excited. I, I think this is a great um, a great thing. It's a VIP. It's an intimate experience, mm-hmm. you it's know, same, to have dope. that up close and personal with an artist, especially such as Tony Terry. And then um, – there's going to be a different feature nice. um, guest artist appearance every other Thursday. So bad, shows, bad, bad. One at eight and one at ten thirty. Okay. Listen, y'all, y'all better get in tune, all right? Y'all better get in tune and get in tune quickly. Yeah. Because shit happening. Yeah. On on these sides. <laughs> yes. Okay. Moves. Yeah. All right. Listen, listen, listen. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta tell y'all about my week. Gotta tell y'all about my week. I was very excited. Ah, you can't do it because right? you gonna look stupid. Yeah, ah. they, 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 they always, they normally cut me off when I say what my week was. Because technically, we don't give a damn. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they just rude. They rude. So anyway, shit. next topic. So what do you? You said you had something. For, for no, it is terrible. No, right? no, don't get sympathy no, on your you. side. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Dynasty. Don't be, don't be, no, thank no, you, Dynasty. No. Okay. No, I'm about to be clicking up over here. But no, listen. <laughs> this week, this week has been amazing. Yeah. A shit ton of good music came out. I've literally just been in my phone listening to music the really? whole week. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, no. Nah, it's Listen, okay. push, push a T drop. Well, I'm I, rap hip hop. Oh, that, okay. That's my realm. Okay. That's my bag. Okay. But push I'm a T drop. Okay. I, I will never knock R&B now. I like a good R&B project. I, I do. But push a T drop. Future drop. Yeah. It's like high toxicity levels. It's like toxic energy is just at an all-time high and sometimes i'm here for it you know i'm not i'm not the the, the overly toxic kind of guy but if the music is good fuck it the music is good and i've enjoyed this week thoroughly I did not just hear, I did listening not to music future, but the push tito push t's album was phenomenal bro it, i don't know and it could maybe because i'm older now you know what i'm saying like I, I like i like grown man rap like that's something that like i mean but, yeah but, it, but yeah. it wasn't a thing before like now rap is older you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like it's everybody aging. was trying to be young rappers, right? Like you, right. you look young, you dress young, yeah. you, you try to be yeah. young. All the rappers is like over 40, and it's like that's their songs. Like I'm an over 40 rapper, and I'm still dope. And I'll be like, yeah. yes, yeah. I'm yeah. here for it, bro. I'm yeah. here for growing rap, bro. Yeah. Nah, but listen, it's it, <laughs> I'm here for it. Man. It was it was. So let glad. me ask you, mm-hmm. what do you like about the grown rap, as you call it? Well, I, I just I call it that. You, you want to jump in it? Go ahead. Well. Because rappers get older, and it's always this thing, like I was just saying, we always are trying to be young, and now that I'm older, it's like, I want to hear music going through what I'm going through. Like, I don't need to, I'm not in the club every day, you know what I'm saying? I'm not turned up every week, I got a job, nigga, I'm, <laughs> I'm saying, I got shit to do, right? Like, what the fuck, bro? Like, I work. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I work. I got responsibility. I want grown man I wanna, among some grown man wh- shit. But why not? <laughs> why is that not a part of the, you know, the conversation? Yeah. Uh, you know, now I mean, I, at first it wasn't cool. It wasn't a cool it wasn't thing. Cool. But at the same time, everybody that you're talking about were they were the young niggas. 
at the time. They yeah. now just older, so now they're like, well, now fuck that. I've progressed, so you better progress. You got no choice. They are the gatekeepers. I'm here for it, man. Yeah, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. And and, I, and honestly, that's what killed all of the um, the old the old school rappers. That's what killed them, mm-hmm. right? Like if Kumo D was to put out an album right now, we'd feel like, oh, he's too old to do it. Is he? Probably. But the point I'm trying to make is, but you know what it is. It, but oh, but that's but what only but only hip hop does that. Right. To be honest, because. I, how many people are left in the Beatles? I don't know. Uh, but if they came out with another album, guess what? They would sell. Right. Cool the gang just came out with another yep. album. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, if, if uh, Queen or Kiss any, any or, like, these novelty groups right. on the other side. Rolling or, Stones. Or in so any other genre. Bro, let, they, let me, why do we put that on that stigma of age on music anyway because if you have good music you just have but we, we we don't do it on music we only do it on hip hop every other genre the quote unquote novelty acts they can drop whenever they want to drop yeah. they can be 80 and put out a and classic out a project yeah. and look at Charlie Wilson like, Charlie Wilson's still going he's, he's still going it, but guess what in hip hop you, you better not be going <laughs> like to be honest Jay Z because hip hop is Hip hop is founded on youth and being a rebel and being you. yeah like yeah that's like the the, the indoctrination of but it. I, I still feel like if it's good music, it's just good. You know, hip hop. I mean, regardless I mean, of what it is, that's it's kind of like that's what you say, but you know that's not what they. Yeah, push. because you, <laughs> if okay, so if what's the biggest concerts, hip hop concerts right now? It's like like the Rolling Louds or yeah, is Coachella considered hip hop? I mean, they got all the black acts there. It could be. It's one of them. Coachella's cool. One of, let's just say Coachella. So, but let's say if the lineup at Coachella was KRS One and Cool Mo D and these people, it's not gonna sell. And right. that's that's what I'm speaking to. Like, we're not in hip hop. We're not allowed to. Age. And, 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 and I, but I, I don't go think a step it's gonna further. sell out like that. I go a step further. Not that they won't sell. It'll sell if they call it the old school Ooh, tour. Oh, yeah. But what's the last KRS album you heard? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sheesh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What's the last Cool Mo D out? What's the last, you know? And, and the thing is, I've always wanted this. I don't think hip hop leaves people. You know, yeah, like, I don't think, bro, how long, we've been, bro, we've been rapping your whole life. Yeah. You, are you ever going to stop writing rhymes? I will never. Period, right? Nah. So you never. 30 whatever now, but when you're mm-hmm. 50, your brain is still going to compute gonna, rhymes. Yeah. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, Jay-Z 50? That's Shit. what I'm saying. Jay-Z. Killing the game. Exactly. Rick so Ross, forty something. Killing the game. Yeah, exactly. Diddy, fifty. Like they, they, these, it. these, these older men. That's what I'm saying. But they're the gatekeepers as well. Yeah, they are. That's true. They, 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 they hold in yeah, all they of are. the power. Yeah, like yeah, they, they, they are. They're so, all the taste makers. So they can't. You know what I mean? Exactly. I, 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 I don't think the next generation of, and that's, mm, that's <laughs> crazy if you think about it. The next generation is not going to have a fifty year old rapper. What? Or the generation afterwards, is it not? You mean little baby not gonna rap till he fifty? No. What? No. You wanna know why? What? Everybody's now getting a bag outside of music. Yeah. Everyone. How dare you rap in your thirties and forties? How right. dare you? You should be a millionaire by now. You should have an alcohol brand. You should have a clothing <laughs> brand. That's what they say. You should have so many things that you. Film. Yeah, you should be in a movie yeah. business. Yeah. Fifty yeah. is now a mogul on. He's yeah. an executive producer. Yeah. 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 It's like so. We. I don't. I don't think we're gonna have any more fifty year old. Because, you know, your wave, you ride that wave. And whatever you can get during that time, you know, that you hot, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to parlay Agreed. that into, you got a brand, you're supposed to parlay that into clothes, into film, into whatever you can parlay that into. Mm-hmm. One, I think it's about working smart, not hard. So Agreed. once you actually set that stage for yourself, you don't have to work that hard. But let me ask you, because you, you're an artist too. We're, we're artists also. You know, I know um, that's what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. No, we're artists. Yeah, we um, get together on that music. That's a fact. That's a fact. Uh, Big we, facts. We should, and that's something that. Uh, but so, do you feel that it's wrong to just stay in music, or or you have to parlay it into something else? Like I'm just. Um, I don't think it's wrong if that's just what you want to do, and you just don't want to. I think to each his own. You know, right. some people don't want to go into other avenues. You know, in terms of, um, you know, performing. My story is so crazy. Like. Yeah. I really was not intended on being an artist, let alone, you know, a solo artist. I mm. started with a group. And then it's like, really, my thing, I, because of just the way things ended up with the group breaking up and all that kind of stuff, and I had to pretty much be my own first project. Mm-hmm. Right. But my thing is, I was like, I don't want to be, like, just touring forever and all that. Like, I was like, I want to 
start kind of going behind the scenes, you know, and using my talents. Like, I'm getting ready to do this film that I wrote, you know. Mm -hmm. so That's I'm dope. Like, I want to be more, you know, yeah, I'm in the front now, but I'm really trying to be more in behind the scenes and work on things and use my creativity, you know, for other things as a writer, mm -hmm. as a, you know, an actress. Mm -hmm. um, so, but I think it's to each his own. You know, if some people just are happy just being an artist, they don't want to do the other stuff. Yeah, that's, I guess that's why I'm asking. Like, if, if 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 I could answer that question, I would answer it. I feel like it would be smarter mm -hmm. if you dove into other things Absolutely. and got other avenues. Absolutely. To put your eggs in one basket is already crazy, right? right? But to keep them all in one basket, I think is insane. And God. if you don't have to, and you have the talent, yeah. if somebody brings I, you opportunities, like me getting into radio, with somebody came to me approaching with the opportunity, with the opportunity. Mm -hmm. and it was like, oh, okay. And even acting, the opportunity. Somebody mm -hmm. approached me and said, hey, you know, you, we think you'd be good at blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay. Well, I'll give it a try. Mm -hmm. and it worked out, you know, and I got casted. So it was just like, it's opportunity, you know. So I feel like if, if you can write a song, you can write a script. You, right, you can write a script. If, if you can and write a script, you can write a book. Uh, yeah, you branch out into other things. Was like, I think you could do. And I was like, okay, well, I'm like this. And then I said, well, let me bounce this on you. And he's like, that's dope. And I'm like, really? Because most, if you listen to any of my music, I'm really telling the story. Any videographer could take any of my songs and do a video because the story is already there. Mm -hmm. It's laid out for you. Mm -hmm. Listen, yeah. that's, but that's good writing. Mm -hmm. And that's why, kids, you stay in school. <laughs> 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 All right. Bring it back on. Bring it back on. <laughs> nah, but listen. Listen, we're we going to talk. We're going to chop it up. We're we going to get it going. But we do have some things that we got to talk about. I'm not sure if y'all been privy to or if you've been in the social media game in this past week, but Meg Thee Stallion oh, has started speaking Finally. About. about the shooting with Tory Lanez. She went and had an interview with Gail King. You know, everybody cries on Gail King. Yeah. and get <laughs> You got to cry. And you know what's funny? I, you got to cry. You go to <laughs> Gail. You gotta, <laughs> it, it's coming. It's coming. You know what's coming. I, I I got I got beef with Gail, but okay, yeah, I, I, me too. I got I got issues with yeah I got issues I got issues with Gail with with how she she doesn't handle us with care. Oh, okay. I don't feel like yeah. And oh, you I, think she come at us kind of hard? Or? But not even hard. I, I say crazy to be I honest. Know. I I feel like you Kobe passed away, and the first thing you bring up is his sexual assault allegations. Yeah, like the man's that's, dead. That's, yeah. It's just distasteful. And so, his daughter. It, it, yeah, it's like it's like yeah. there's so many, and that's that's that was done and over with. Like, why are we bring it up? But once again, Gail, thank you. So that's why. But anyway, yeah, so she saying. she sits on the couch, and she's giving her account of the events that we all know happened. Um, but something came up, and she pretty much denied having a, a, a intimate relationship with Tory Lanez, mm -hmm. and. The whole world at the same time was like, huh? I just wanted to play it real quick so we can hear it. Okay, okay let's bro. see what's up. Because this right here. What was the nature of your relationship with Tory Lanez? Because he has led, led people to believe that it was a sexual relationship, that it was, uh, that you two were dating. What was the nature we of We were your... not dating. We what were really name? close. We were friends. We hung out like every day. And his mom passed too. So when I felt like we were bonding over oh. that. And did you have an intimate relationship with him? Like sexual? Yeah. yeah. Did you have, did you Megan? <laughs> did you have a sexual relationship with Tory Lanez? Yes, that's my question. Um I didn't have a sexual relationship with Tory. So why do you think he's putting out the story that the two of you had a relationship and that you're making the whole thing up? I think that he is trying to deflect from the fact that he c committed a crime. Okay. So what, she... What, I, I don't understand how that deflects him from committing a crime. Pretty much uh, her denying that they had sexual... So Tory Lanez is like... The reason why everything happened, uh, we got into a big argument because we were together, we yeah, were okay. intimate, and we were dating. And they got into an argument over girls and girls and whoever the case may be. That led to the argument. That led to somebody being injured. Right. 
she's now saying that no, we never have relations. We never had a relationship at all. Oh. You just was a, a, a wild madman and right. shot me. I wanted to leave that there real quick and actually go into a topic though. <laughs> but not 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 that one. I want okay. No, I, I want to talk about something else real quick. Sorry. Is it normal to deny a body? Like, have you had relations with someone, and, and you're like, you know what, nah, nope, no, I didn't. Nah, what what you talk about? Like, that did not happen. <laughs> like, is that a normal thing to do? Like, do we suppress maybe negative interactions with people? Do we, like, 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 it was a bad experience. Nah, like, women we, do that. We just, women, like, have women you done do that? that? Like, have you said, it's you know what, nah, like, it don't even count. Nah, no, yeah, they don't even count. I, I have no clue who that man oh, is, right, yeah. or woman, or whoever you're into. I have no I'm clue. Don't count. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you just like struck it from but, the record. You no, know, I've never been like come at like that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Nobody has ever came at me directly and just be like, "Was you with so and so? Did you and so and so have?" You know what I mean? You never know what people might say. Who know who and who? Right, yeah. You know, but you know, you in the entertainment business or whatnot. Right, you know, right. people want to claim you or whatnot. So you never know. And, you know, I might just be trying to be funny and be like, I don't know who you talk about. <laughs> Have you denied bodies? I don't deny nothing. You know what I mean? I get too drunk. I tell everything. <laughs> get me drunk enough. Shit. Yeah, I, I, I put numbers nobody. on the internet. It'll be terrible. That's man. that's bad. I'm, I'm just, I, I, don't I do that. No I'm just joking. My mic is the worst. Approach me with that. I, I have denied a body. Yeah, I've, really? denied, I've denied a couple bodies. Your denial, sir. Well, um, wait, wait. Other than just getting caught, because men do yeah, deny. Yeah, because I what? mean, we know y'all. We know that, but that's different. No, no, that's different. I'm, no, I, I'm not. I'm not talking about. Oh, I'm, I was cheating. And yeah, you yeah, caught me cheating. Yeah, we ain't talking about that. I, I'm, I'm, I've, all men have done that. I've, I've, I've personally denied bodies, um, because of the relationship that she had with somebody else. I may have knew, may have known. Okay, I got you. So, so it's like if you doing your dirt and I'm over here, and but I know, homie. Right. If and, and I would never speak on it, and right. if we're in conversations like you, you, you know, not mm -mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. okay, I, I don't in, in know nothing about in protection. You feel me? Like I, people. Not, got you. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I look, I, I get why somebody would not kiss and tell. I get it because it, yeah. it's, it's really not it's really nobody, nobody else business. business. It's true. It's like, so I mean, if you, see, that's how I am. Like it would be like, what, what business is that of yours? So right. you know, most people know how I am. So ain't nobody but, really gonna come up me and ask me. Did I do anything with X, Y, Z? I'm going to be like, how's this your business? But the difference is with this is this is a criminal oh, yeah, proceeding. Yeah. Right. It is. So what happens but is. At the same time. But you know, it, the reason why, just like if we're going to talk about it, the reason why she's she's there is to shed light on her side of the story. Right. And Tory Lanez is pretty much under a gag order, so he can't talk. Oh. So he can't give his side of the story. And if he does, he gets sent away to jail. Yeah, they locked him up for just tweeting her. He he tweeted in her, her in her direction and got locked up for tweeting. For yeah. tweeting. So imagine actually speaking on it. So he can't say anything. So now she's so he on knows that he can't say anything. And she's on one of the biggest platforms. Like, right. So now I can speak out cuz you can't say nothing to the contrary. So exactly. I can say whatever. It's you like know, somebody called Tori I mean, and see what he thinks about this. I don't know this. what other reason <laughs> yeah. Yeah. she would have to deny. You know, if you said y'all was best friends and y'all was hanging out every day, so I don't even understand why it would matter if it was an intimate situation. Like, because she, I, when someone is under counsel, you can tell. Yeah. You, you yeah. can tell when yeah. somebody's yeah. being coached, yeah. right? Because yeah. if, if her narrative is... Or if if their team's objective is to that's we need true. we need to create distance between y'all two, right. you true. need to show that y'all were not that cool, right. that y'all were friends, right. but that was, it. that was it, so that we can have this dissension between the ranks. Right. Because if you go into the situation like yeah y'all were lovers, mm, that's kind of tough and to fight your case tough. now. Yeah, yeah. But I think that her lying on national television like that did her more harm than good. Well, if somebody questioned you under oath. You gonna have to tell the truth, cause if they find out that you are lying, that's perjury. Yeah, but how can you prove if somebody? Well, no, that's a dumb question. You, yeah, can, no, you can prove somebody had sex. You, but, can, you know, but but also, well, but they gotta be there. Can you prove somebody had sex with somebody? You can't prove that. Yeah, I mean, sex, uh, 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 forensics, and you know. Yeah. I mean, but uh, that's right away. What I'm saying is, if if I had intercourse with somebody two months ago, right. 
Who can prove? Can you scientifically Nobody, prove that? You can't prove that, right? I don't think so. I can't think of a way, like you said, you can't. Oh, I know, baby. This thing works. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> this thing works. Smell I, it. I'm, I'm, I listen. I know, That's you. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm like, nope. That, he's not doing the that is that Tony. Is terrible. That is Tony. I know it, nigga. That is terrible. The forensic finger touch? That is, this is real. Uh, yeah, I can't I'm, think I'm, unless I'm, you got actual <laughs> video footage or. You was there. Yeah. Mm. So who yeah, can really yeah. say that you actually had? No, I got you. I got you. I, Once again. No. I, 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 just, I just think that <laughs> what I did want to talk about, and I'm glad that you're here. because uh, okay. we're, No, no, because we're, we're, we've been told that we women bash on the show. And I don't feel like. No, we it's, don't. It's just a lot of men. <laughs> so we, you know, end up. This, this show is four guys you know if talking. It's four women, it ends up being male bashing. Just because it's four women talking about well, men. Well, I try to get people to speak from their own perspective. Like I did the um, What's Real with the Men, and, I'm, and now I'm going to do What's Real with the Women. But mm. I won't allow them to say women do blah, blah, blah. Right. Because all women don't do the same thing. That's but why you got to say more times than don't not. do the same right. thing. You know what I'm saying? So I won't allow them to do that. I will only allow them to speak from their own perspective <laughs> and their own experiences. So you cannot say because, like, I know myself, I'm an exception to a lot of rules that a lot of men think. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? About women. Oh, this woman would do that. But me, there's a lot of things I'm not going to. I'm just not a typical female in the way that a female mind normally thinks. You know what I'm saying? With a lot of men in a lot of situations you know um one of my actually my brand success coach she wants me to do a dynasty of protocol wait real quick you said brand success brand success coach Coach? yeah come on now bro i don't think i've ever heard that word before (laughs) (laughs) no no i'm just i'm just no 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 but hold on we prepare for success but but nigga (laughs) what brand you and prepare you for success Oh my God! Yeah, so she's a brand oh, okay. Sister. I've never heard that yeah. word. Black people <laughs> words we need to have in a lexicon. I'm glad I'm here. <laughs> no, I've, been, I've been using this word. For this months. man said this word one time last week. He <laughs> been running lexicon. with this word. Like, every word lexicon now. This nigga been saying lexicon for two weeks. Lexicon. You put this in a lexicon. He's a wordsmith, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Same, <laughs> word. <laughs> Same word. Same word. I'm like, I like that. I'm gonna yeah, use but, that. But but brand success coach. coach. Yes. That, that's that's how you know. That, that's oh, how that's, you. That's how you know we built different. Oh, right? When you I got like a brand that. success coach. No, but I like I, just the fact that a person says, "You know what I need?" <laughs> a brand need success. Brand, brand success coach. coach. I don't think. No, but wait, wait. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I, 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 I want, you just said it and it just caught me. Bring it back. Bring I, I, I want to no. bring back the topic that I was going to ask. Right. right? Back to the women and the men. So. The women the, bashing. N- 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 no. Okay. <laughs> but, <laughs> no. <laughs> we don't do that. But we have not woman bashing on this show. All right. But you know what's funny. In, in, in the okay. same breath, they call us the relationship gurus because we give great advice, which is crazy. Which is crazy. Right? So how we, you know That's what, we, we gonna leave it alone. I mean, I mean, I'm here. So, okay. so, here so the, 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 the question that came to my mind as I'm reading and I'm watching and I'm like, okay, well, let, let, what, what does Jay Willer feel about the situation? A hypothetical came to mind, right? I don't know who's innocent. I don't know who's guilty. I, I, mean, I don't know nothing about that. Correct. But let's just say Meg Thee Stallion is found that she is not telling the truth, okay. right? Let's say Tory Lanez is acquitted of these charges. Mm-hmm. Um, he's innocent, whatever the case may be. Does the credibility credibility of women take a hit? Of all women? And I'm saying this for a reason, right? I'm, I'm saying this for a specific don't reason. Don't say that, because when he, when he said it, I was look, like, word, look, bro? Look, look, look. <laughs> word? Look, and, and the reason why I'm staying here and the, Wait, the reason why my brain went Maybe there, I would have done this one. I'm on Twitter. You know, everybody got an opinion on Twitter, right? And literally, if you can, you can cut through with a knife, all the guys are there. All the women are there. Okay. Nobody is crossing that line. It's a, there's a line there. It's an iron curtain. Women are like, no, Meg, you, Meg is telling the truth. Right. Tori, you shot her. You're just terrible. The guy's are like, that's some bullshit. He ain't do that. So what I'm saying is off of that, off of team A versus team B, let's mm. find, let's say 
that she is found to be not telling the truth and Tory Lanez is found to be telling the truth. Does the credibility, because now what happens is everybody's putting their emotions into it, right. their own personal experience into it, right. their own, oh, well, my, my man did this, so I right. know Tory right. did that. And it's like, right. well, how do we even get there? Yeah. So I... I I don't even understand that. But Me either, but it's happening. But you know that's how people are. So you know people, people are putting are. their situation into yeah, it. So yeah. I'm taking it holistically, just men and women. Mm. Does the credibility now take a hit from this woman, hypothetically, hypothetically. lying on this man, and none of this happening that she said happens to be true? Well, unfortunately, people don't think right. So as a, it should be her credibility that shot, not mm -hmm. all women. But so her supporters. Unfortunately, when you have yeah, but and they should just their her credibility should be shot with her supporters, absolutely, because they supported her, and then to find out that. But what if all the supporters are women? That's what I'm trying to say. Like literally, we're, we're having the same well, conversation. What ends up happening? Like I don't know if they would feel like that. See, women ain't gonna feel like it affects our credibility personally. Yeah, yeah. Because no, it ain't me. That's her. Take that on the chin. Mm -hmm. However, men. May look at like, see, you know what I'm saying? These women yeah. always doing da 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 da. Because mm -hmm. I've heard that from men. Mm -hmm. Because they'll see stuff out just on social media or whatever, and they'll that's they'll take it as this is how women are. This is what they do, and they'll put all women in that category because, or or at least that they're capable yeah. of that because of this particular public figure that lied. You know what I'm saying mm -hmm. about the circumstances between her and this dude. Hmm. So I know that the women would be like, no, that's her. You know what I mean? They they ain't going to do that. They're not going to take that responsibility. Another one is gone. Okay, I guess it's me. <laughs> another one bites the dust. <laughs> right, another one. Another wait, one wait. <laughs> well, okay, so what we're not going to do is take that out. We, we just, <laughs> that, was not, that was funny. <laughs> Yo, and she a champ. She's like, well, all right, so. No, no, <laughs> she's gangster because I just, I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> she went right in, like another one. All right, so. <laughs> it's getting warm in here. Wait, um, listen, wait a minute. Okay, <laughs> shit is falling. <laughs> Fuck it. As long as it just don't fall on me. I'm no, yeah, that's shit. hilarious. Yeah, yeah. No, Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> But you took it like a chance. No, for real. Like, just. She said, well, okay. <laughs> Shit be falling. <laughs> if y'all okay with it, y'all okay with it. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, oh, no, okay, all okay. Right. Yeah, that fell again. Another one. All right, let's keep it. Okay, moving. I get it. I damn near, near want to take him off the wall. <laughs> I'm like, I'm lost, right? Like, Shit's off the wall. Like, you imagine if they all fall through the whole episode. <laughs> That Dice would be amazing. Came and we just decided to be decorated. <laughs> new set. We That's hilarious. Wait, we need a new whole new studio. It's we're good. done. No, oh, but I, I feel like I feel like we was having a good conversation. We were, it was a it was a good momentum going. I mean, do y'all have like a playhouse ghost or something? The, it, listen, it must be. Yeah, you know what it is? It's Meg. It's Meg. It's Meg. It's Meg. It's Meg. Meg. Shout you want to talk some shit, huh? You know what, I'm saying? what you mean they gonna put it on me? Yeah, it's on you. <laughs> what you mean all you. women? All no, but women so, on uh, you. so uh, we 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 heard from Dynasty. Um, how do you feel, Damo? I mean, yeah. I, we don't need to drag this topic, bro. Uh, it's not dragging. I just want to hit you. I want to get your opinion. Um, <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> did, did he just clam up? I did, like, I, <laughs> did you just cower? Uh, he like a little <laughs> yeah, like, like yes. when you ask him a question, then you know they about to lie. Or try to play, they like. Oh damn! That, that that was the Meg that look. Was, that was, that was the Meg look. Was, uh, <laughs> Did you have sexual relations with Tory Lanez? And she's like, uh, wait, bisexual. Oh, I needed to do my tears. Wait a minute. I need to. I need to cure. Uh. No, honestly, I, I, I hated that for her. I hated that for her. I hated the fake crying. What you don't I, understand I, is the, the the whole interview like 15, <laughs> like, 20 minutes, and you cry. You tried to cry for fifteen oh minutes. God. Oh I hate God. I hated that for her. No, I, no I hated obviously, that. no, it's not all women. I can't, but I do understand why you asked this question. Yeah. I bet, yo, brother, we, you you keep ducking this fade, man. We we oh, trying to be oh, trying my to. Opinion. Yes, you clamped up like a little. At the uh, end of the day, women ain't shit. And, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> women bash. Really want to ask? You know what I'm saying? It's not about. like we bash on women, but this is this is why. <laughs> I, I tried to dress it up to. nicely. I mean, if you're going to bat, you know, that's why we, you know, F all the women, personally, the way I feel, I don't think, in, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just like, joking. Like, <laughs> no, but seriously. I'm uh, an old man that like all women. <laughs> all women. <laughs> Gail, see, that was Gail, Gail. again. Got to be Gail King. I don't uh, like Gail, Gail King. But she got the, you know, she got the book, she, uh, she learned from Oprah. You got to go on Oprah. Remember when you used to go on Oprah? No, you I, have to cry? 
You remember nope. that was a thing? No, but <laughs> like you go to Oprah, you ha- just remember. No, but I, I, that's I, what I, I want to do. I want to get my show to the point where I get people on there. Will you cry? Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna cry. They can gonna I cry. cry on your show? Yeah. <laughs> I want to be on there. As soon as you sit down, I'm, I'm just. I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah, oh my God. I'm not going to lie. No, my, Dang, give if, me a hug. Oh my if God, you I'm ever not. were to cry on somebody's couch, <laughs> I am going to cut your ass. Don't Bro, do it. you know me. I can't wait to get emotional for real. I need you to come on the show with me. Like, I, I do. I'm, what? Just, I'm like, what's the matter, Dang, Mo? I'm, just, <laughs> I'm the one. I, I would mean, cry before anybody. Got to start, so I just had to get it out the way. Nope. No, it just... It, 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 it just gets me tight because we don't have we don't have that many people at that stature, and for them not to fuck with us for real, like, it pisses me. That, it pisses me off because yeah, Oprah Oprah had her run too, but Oprah no, but Oprah don't fuck with hip hop, so fuck Oprah. Yeah, no, I'm a hip hop artist, but Michael Jackson wasn't hip hop, and she didn't fuck with him either. That's true. So like, I, I can't you know, give her a pass. She, she gave him his props, but it was like, come on, Oprah, what you doing? Like, like we, don't do that. We, to we this. only have but two, three people right. at that level, and I right. feel like they don't fuck with us. It, it, it kills me. I'm sorry. But to your, sir, you still didn't give your point. Fuck all women. It's my point. <laughs> Next topic. I'm, Accusations I'm, are true. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, brother. What, what we talk about, man? <laughs> we can't be the woman bashers. <laughs> no, just, Damn. Uh, I really just don't have an opinion, man. I, I, oh, if I got to be honest, I just don't care. Uh, in, in real life, I don't care. I'm, I'm tired of talking about Tori and Meg, bro. Sorry. I hear you. That's my actual opinion. My actual okay. opinion is, again, uh, now you crying. crying. But you have a podcast, sir, so you, you're, all you're, true. No, no, your, all your true. followers would like to get Inquiring your point of view. All true, all true. Um, damn, but it's just hard because we, we at the end of the day, a year, what was that, two years ago? Twenty, Yeah, 2020. Two years, a year ago, we still don't got the facts. <laughs> so it's like, it's still hard for me to have an opinion. Uh, does it represent all women? Of course not. You know, I, I agree with you on that. No, no. It has nothing to do with all women. Even when you posed the question, I was like, word? <laughs> all women? <laughs> like, I did it on purpose. White women too? You know yeah, what I'm saying? I, yeah, like, I every, all, every woman. I did it on purpose. <laughs> Transgender women? Yes. The dicks turned inside them too? Them they, too. Damn. Them too. <laughs> you, what you just said? The dicks turned inside. You said the dicks turned inside, turn inside out? out? Yeah, oh, the, my the flip, God. The flip. Yeah. Them too? It's, Meg represents them too? I, I don't know, bro. I can't say that. <laughs> Wow. It's <laughs> a lot. Anyway, Dynasty, how we I doing? Know, right? <laughs> exactly. Is <another laughs> yeah, something going to drop? Like, because like, okay, Jesus Christ. Christ. Yeah. Welcome back. Welcome back. Wow. <laughs> okay, so if that's your take, um, I also like to talk about something that happened in social media. Hopefully you have you care about this one because right. he don't seem <laughs> to give a fuck about on. nothing. Yes, right. Go ahead. Um, we have Young Thug. He's in the, the, the media talking about um, people's socioeconomic status and then ha- them having kids. Oh, I did hear this. He pretty oh. much was saying that broke people shouldn't have kids. <laughs> Basically. Because you they, they grow up wanting things and you can't provide it and then they turn around and then they rob, steal, and kill for those things that so you where, can't provide. So where did Ooh. he get this from? I don't know where he got it from, but he's the same individual who has like 10 kids before he got famous. So before you was rich and famous, but I, but I, I would like to play the clip just so we can yeah, be on the I, same page. I don't know if you're gonna hear it with the fan, but we are gonna see. How do we feel about that? Um, How do I we feel, feel about, like, yeah. One, he's basically, just because people have children and maybe they couldn't afford them, that doesn't necessarily mean that the kids are going to be guaranteed to grow up being robbers and stealing and killing. <laughs> Good and point. That. Great That's point. not necessarily yeah. true. Mm-hmm. Um, and then also, from based on what you say, prior to him getting famous and having money, why was you out there making a football babies? team? Right. Was, was you in the position that you had that type of money mm-hmm. to take before this, you know, pre fame, you know, to take care of 10 kids? You run around here making all these babies, you know? And then is he really being, it ain't just making babies, but it's also being a father or a mother to these children. 
So it ain't just about money. It's about actually nurturing and being a in present in their lives. Mm -hmm. So, you know, to make a blanket statement like that, like, if he knows somebody that did that, then you can speak to that situation. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But just to say again at these, because there are people who in the industry became athletes, sports figures, whatever, right. that grew up and also successful businessmen and women that grew up poor. You know, yep. so that does not mean that this is what's going to happen and we're not going to excuse that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You mm -hmm. can't give that excuse to that's the reason why this person is doing this or this individual is doing that because that's not necessarily true. Because a lot of people have come from impoverished type of situations. Most of our heroes. It's America. Like, <laughs> this is right. the place. It's America. This is right. where, you, this is where America. you come from to be right. impoverished to and make it. it. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And so everybody ain't grow up with, with a silver spoon. You right. know, people came from different type of classes and again we know sports figures that tell their story you know i, I wanted to do this for my mom because she was struggling and blah, blah blah i know people right now that's making six-figure incomes that they tell me that they had you know brothers and sisters and whatnot and they lived in you know in more poorer areas mm -hmm. and they wasn't making that money and they are now make earning six figure they income. didn't turn out to be robbers killers and stealers they did not and neither did their siblings mm -hmm. so I, just, I, I, again, that's like a blanket statement. That I, feel, you just, I feel like it was. Mm. <laughs> Take your time, brother. No, Take no, no. Time. Because it, <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> because I love my people. I love us. I want us to win no matter what. Like, yeah. I, I promise you, even in the wrong, I'm like, well, fuck it. We going to win. Like, right. I, I just want us to win. Mm -hmm. but Heard some, that, Meg? Just joking. Nope. But right. sometimes <laughs> ignorance is, is it's just it, bliss. It, it, but it kills me. <laughs> like ignorance kills me sometimes. It's like black people. Black people when, when when black people get money, we like to disassociate ourselves with black. Yeah. And I don't know why we First fucking do it. First thing you do is move to a white neighborhood. Yes, it's like we just First thing. we just disassociate ourselves with whatever the struggle is. Like, whatever was going on over there, I don't know, because I'm over here. Right. Like I, I remember watching an interview with Lil Wayne. And, oh, God, not that one. And Wayne was like, oh, well, I, I, there is no racism, oh. because I don't feel racism. Racism doesn't affect me in my day to day. Right. See, and, I can't understand that. But what, what happens is he has so much money that no one would dare be racist to you, Lil Wayne. No cop is ever going to pull you over and throw you in cuffs just because because you're Little Wayne. Mm -hmm. You have the name, you have the status, you have the stature, you have the you money. Can to pay you can bill. afford. You can afford to do all this, <laughs> so you're never going to be treated like how Jay Willow would be treated if I was driving. You know what I'm trying to say? Right. So, I, I see that here with Young Thug. It's like the statement that you're making is you don't feel that people, broke people, quote unquote, should not have kids. Because their kids are going to turn out to be robbers, killers, and murderers, oh, is the statement. That just clicked. I see, I see now. I see now. Because that means that, bro, you wouldn't be you. Exactly. Because your mom. We wouldn't have a young thug. Your, why? Because young thug just, should be a robber, clicked. a killer, and a stealer. It just right. for me. You should be a thief. You should right. be locked up doing life. Right. Right. Yeah. You shouldn't have these opportunities right. afforded to you. So now you had all your kids, right. well, the, the majority of your kids, right. while you were a quote-unquote broke right. individual. Right. Wow. And now you got a little bag, and now you're like, well, shit, <laughs> dumb niggas back there, they bugging out. They shouldn't be doing X, Y, and Z. When you were just living that life, it's just insensitive, it's disrespectful, <laughs> but... My problem is deeper. It's deeper. It's deep, you my, know, and, and I'm trying. You know, I always get to the point no, where. But, but that's why, bro. That that twenty second into a deep dive. That, that twenty I'm, second I'm like clip. That twenty second clip yeah. bothered me, and I was like, "Nah, I want to talk about it." Because <sighs> there ain't no way that you just said that out of your lips. There's no way that you formulated those sentences. We deep diving into that. Yes, let's go. We got Dynasty here with us. Okay, we we here to talk today. All right. Uh, well. Um, <laughs> Well, it's racism. Uh, it, uh, uh, because is that Willie Lynch working? Yeah, because we we only as black people feel that white people's success is the pinnacle, mm -hmm. right? Like, like what's wrong with being black successful? What's wrong with that? Is that a bad thing? I, I don't think so. All your black thing. people fuck with you. Yeah, I don't think your team fuck with you. Your family fuck with you. The friends fuck. Everybody fuck with you. But we not good unless Brad Pitt is fucking with you. Now Brad Pitt fucking with you. Oh, you made it. Oh, you made it now. You made it. You now now you good. Oh, you got the endorsement. 
you got the Oscar. Now this you is a good know. Negro. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You the, yo, yeah. <laughs> this is the good Negro. Fuck. He's acceptable Negro. What your Negro. life has been, mm-hmm. you know, uh, Samuel L. Jackson finally got a damn award. They, they gave him an honorary ass. But the world didn't even see it. We didn't even see it. We didn't even see it. It was on a commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> this man finally won an Oscar. And we sure didn't see and it. And we was watching a Trident commercial. <laughs> like, no, we, we was watching an Orbitz commercial. So imagine that, right? That's crazy. Samuel L. Jackson. Who has put, what is it? He has the record for making the most, the most money yes. of all actors. With, with all the period. movies he's been on. For, since like he, all of his movies just combined has made more money than any single actor in the world. They finally was like, yeah, we'll get this nigga something. <laughs> during commercial break. Yeah, during commercial break. Wow, that was horrible. Yeah. That's yeah, bad. Nobody knew until after. Right. So has is Samuel Jackson successful now? I mean, but do we know? <laughs> do we know of, if he really won the award? <laughs> like, if, if the world didn't, didn't see it, it, did it happen? We didn't see it. Oh, that's true. If, if no one video, bro, I don't believe if it. If no one saw it, did it happen? This show didn't happen. <laughs> you feel me? Like, if no one saw it, did it happen? Like, it's crazy. Well, I guess, and I guess it's up to him. You know, we all, I mean, I believe he's had a very successful career. Absolutely. And it's just a matter of what that individual measures you know their level of success is that something that he just always wanted or it was like hey that's great they nominated me i got the award or does he even think that way we don't know if he even thinks that that's like measures his level of success because Mm -hmm. to some actors maybe it does to some maybe it doesn't you know i mean some people go for the accolades i mean we all do music let's not all front like we wouldn't like to get a grammy oh yeah you know what I'm saying? I got you, you my know, first plaque. You, you know, congrats. Congrats on congrats that. Congrats on that. Okay. DRTs, listen, yeah. listen. You got we, a, a Grammy plaque? No, a plaque on the DRTs, a plaque. I'm not judging. No, no, no. I'm, she, no she's I, like, DRT. hold on. Don't be asking questions, Chief. Yeah. I, 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 I will say I'm this. I'm not even judging that, but, yeah. but, but I'm saying that on purpose. I, but but I, I've been, that question that you just asked, I've been battling internally with that these last couple, I say like two years for me. Um. At first, the Grammy... At first, the Grammys weren't even on my radar, right? When I started music, it was like, oh, I want to win a Grammy. I didn't know nothing about that. It was, yo, this Nas record is fire. It's just love. Literally, like, I, I, I wrote my first rap to the Nas Hate Me Now. Seriously? Instrumental. Dead serious. My first rap ever. I'm pissed that I've known you this long and I didn't know that shit. Well, here we go. Welcome. So you a Nas fan over Jay-Z fan, finally. I, I, I would never finally. say that. Finally. I would, I would never yeah, say that. let the record show. <laughs> I, would, I, did, I, did, I didn't say that. It's a Nas I didn't say fan. that. Right? I, mean, I, I didn't say that. He kind of just said that. Thank you, Dynasty. He kind of just said I started me, rapping me, off of Nas. No, no, I said I wrote my first rap to that uh-huh. yeah, he beat. say that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, you want to know why? We've been arguing this as friends Listen, so I Fuck it. I'll give you the background story, right? I'm watching the the music video. Yeah. On BET at the time, um, my mom walks in from church. Oh, you did tell me that story. And Nas is carrying the cross, the cross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. in the Hate Me Now video. Oh, wow. And she loses it. Mm. I'm first generation West Indian. My mom is like, what the hell is going on? This is blasphemous. Right, This yeah. man is carrying the cross? <laughs> She's like, what the I fuck? Like, oh. so, oh, so I lose my TV privileges. I lose my music privileges. I lose everything. So what, what does a kid want to do more? I'm going to watch more TV. I'm yeah, going to watch right. more hip hop. I'm a rebel. I, 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 I am going to watch this music good. video yeah. to the. So I, I got the beat. I wrote my first bars to it. Like, that's how I started rapping because my mom went so hard against this music video. Shout out to Nas. You created Jay Willa. Yo, and as much up. as he talked this shit, I've <laughs> hey, been doing this shit for years. Guess what? Jay Z is still better. So what are we, what are we talking <laughs> about? Like, this for years. What are we talking about? But I just I love hearing that because like all right, cool. Yeah, and I, like, I, that's hilarious. I went yeah. down this rabbit hole and I forgot the ta- I forgot so the point. Sorry. What was the point? Uh, Jesus, uh, uh, Emmys. We were talking Jay-Z. Emmys and uh, Grammys, right? Grammys, cool. Yeah. To me, the gra- Grammys weren't the 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 point at first. It was I like this. This is cool. This is dope. Then when you get into the business of things and you right. get to the accolades and the hierarchy, yeah, I want to win a Grammy because that means I'm the best. Right. And then you get to find out that it's some BS and it's... It's who you know. Who, who paid the more who money. Put a little peen, <laughs> like, boo-boo. You, you know feel I mean? me? Like, like who, it's a whole lot of stuff that's like... Who, way, yeah. who, who elbows got rubbed the right. most, who palms got yep. greased. Yep. And then yeah. I, f- I fell out of love with that yeah. part of it. So these last couple of years, I've been fighting with the, the accolades we're talking about. So I, 
I appreciate the hell out of the fact that you, you've won an accolade. Yeah. And that's something that you can hang your head on. I won that off of my musical ability, my right. talent level. Right. I got that. I feel that that's amazing. Well, and it's organic. But you mm. like, like you said, there is a politics in, in that stuff. And I think, like, for me, it's more of, you know, people actually feeling my music. Mm. Really actually getting the message and they really become a dynasty fan they mm-hmm. are truly chosen to follow me they're and invested my music and whatever it is i'm doing mm-hmm. and they really are just like like i've had like to me that's the greatest reward i've had a couple people hit me on ig and say i'm just a fan i love your voice right. i love that's your dope. music i'm a fan and that to me is real you know what i mean that is real mm-hmm. that's a real person saying that they actually like what it is that I do. Yeah. And I think the first time I experienced that was on a cruise ship and I ended up performing. They had a talent event and I was doing this song that I wrote called You was on a cruise ship? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You like performing on moving objects. Yeah, ah! you, yeah you like <laughs> moving ve- vehicles. Yo, I'm vehicles. We got cruise ships. We got, we got party buses. buses. We, Yo, I see what's see going on. Like, so I was on a motorcycle singing my ass <laughs> off. Like, like, Standing on you? the seat. <laughs> like, what's up with you? You like performing on moving <laughs> No, objects? listen, Dynasty, t- tell us. <laughs> tell us. Show me. <laughs> what, what's what what's the next vehicle? That boat moving on true, that yeah. giant true. Nah, you had a hell of a stance, though. Yeah, you had to. Well, I do have a stance. They tell yeah, me I'm, I'm not. Like, I know for a fact because you like, got to plant the feet. They like, man, there's a, it could be a tornado. Wait, wait, wait. Question. Question. Did you have heels on on the Absolutely. cruise? Absolutely. Come on now. Absolutely. Come on now. Always. Heels on the cruise? Always. That's okay. Funny. Always. Always. That's funny. But this lady, like, people were, like, coming. I was doing rehearsal, and they and it was a ballad, and they were coming out, like, the, the, the um, theater was right by the shops and mm. it was like you know open and the the people were coming in yeah and this particular lady stopped me and she was just like it was like therapy for her and she was just like oh my god that song is just so beautiful and it just made me think i lost my husband not to death she yeah just, they were divorced because mm-hmm. she had an alcohol problem like she mm. was just pouring her heart out to me and it was just like Wow. So your music brought out an emotion in somebody, right? So like, which is a great me, connection to have. Absolutely, that's that's so dope. I think that's like, and of course we want to make money off of our talent. You absolutely, know, be able to do what you love and earn your income. But I think for me, is really knowing that people really, really like it resonates with them. Mm-hmm. You know, and even if they can identify with the story or what it is that I'm talking about, they can say, you know. Wow, this is because they don't have the ability or the talent to express um, that, express that yeah. in the way that we do. You know, Absolutely. the way that we're able to, they're not able but to do that. That's what we're here for as right. artists, right? Like, it, are are we not representatives of the people? That's what we supposed Absolutely. to do. Absolutely, like that's and what we do. We so feed yeah, the soul. Absolutely. So when that connects, hell yeah, it works. Yeah. Yeah. And we got it. So that, that's the greatest feeling for me. I mean, it's nice to get plaques and awards, mm-hmm. but I think that's the greatest feeling for me. Work. My bad. I, I, no, I, I, this man with this <laughs> bike, bro. <laughs> I think I found the name of the episode. Things, things, things falling out. down. Things falling down. Think of things, it all falls down. It all falls down. The whole show. <laughs> And if you watch and fast forward, this mic has been doing this the whole motherfucking time, bro. Doing time like, lapse, nigga, the whole time. It's like, look how many times Dan has raised his goddamn mic. Like something is falling. Okay. <laughs> Every time we look up. But but are, are y'all done talking about? Um, no, I, w- I want to get to the game next. Yeah, I want to do the game next real quick. But I, w- I want to make sure everybody got their rocks off. Pause about um, whoever. It's what's over. his name? Let it go. Young Thug and that, that, that crazy ass take that he had yeah, on, on kids. We got it. I think we got it. Nah, I, listen. He's but you know what we didn't do? We didn't ask her the question. Oh, wow. You are right. I am so glad you just reminded me. I be trying to keep us in formatted. No, no, no. We it's, be drinking. It's, it's great. It's great. We be drinking. It's I'm great. I'm denying all bodies. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> imagine, yo, yo, tell us how many people, like, uh, imagine if that was the question. Yo, she you, said, <laughs> I'm denying all bodies. <laughs> <laughs> imagine having an ass. That's like, hilarious. Name, name every person that you. That. That's no, hilarious. No, 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 that's yeah, we question. were married, but we were just friends. That's not the question. <laughs> Here on Willow Wednesdays, we ask our guests one weekly question. one question. Just one. I know we speak about topics, but we ask one question. So we would like to ask you this one question. And we're going to drag the question. Okay. 
You ready? Got you. Are you ready? <laughs> Dynasty Smith. <laughs> What kind of porn do you watch? Jewish porn. What kind of porn do you porn. watch? None. Two women, what two kind of porn guys. do you watch? You know what? I'm not what a porn kind of person. porn do you watch? You know what? Whoa, whoa, she cut us off early. No porn? No. I don't even you know, believe you. Like years ago, um, my friends used to talk about, you know, what? porn and stuff. And like, I tried to watch it one time and that janky ass music. I was like, <laughs> 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 She, the <laughs> she was like, what the and fuck are they like, <laughs> What's good? Like, it's so corny, man. <laughs> and then it's like a dumbass type of scene. Like somebody knocks on the door or something. You got okay, pizza. okay, okay. So, oh. so, okay, wait, wait, wait. So, I will say, okay, I feel like you were introduced to the, the wrong, wrong time. Yeah, the yeah. wrong. I power porn. That was good. Power porn? The power. <laughs> By 50 Cent. That was porn now. <laughs> That's no. 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 No, I I'm feel, not doing that. I feel like you had a bad interaction with. Okay, wait, wait. So. Well, because you're talking 90s, 2000s, bound chicka, wow, wow, smoke filled room. I'm here to fix with, the with the, with the weird themes. It's crazy. Your cable yeah. box is, is not sudden, working. I got a cable that you can sudden, plug up. It's like, what? My they, cord right, works. And then all of a sudden, they're screwing. And it's like, <laughs> it's like how the fuck did we get here? How does that become sexual? How do we what get is here? that janky-ass music yeah, yeah, in the background? Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, okay, so I, okay, I... I, I I 1,000% agree there. No, because if that's your basis, I wouldn't fuck with porn either. <laughs> but, but, Shit. no, but, okay. You know what? We're going to have a, we got to have a deep dive now. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. You took us to a if, if this is uncomfortable, let me know. It's not. We're going cool. Just tap the okay. thigh. We'll First, know. Just give, give me a sign. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to make something drop. Yeah. This, <laughs> yeah, this show just got it. Hit every- the wall one time. <laughs> shit gonna drop. No, but. Ha, has this been like your whole life kind of thing? Like you've yeah, never really you know, been into I it. I think that um, I am a hopeless romantic, probably jaded, but jaded I'm a hopeless porn. romantic, mm-hmm. and I think I'm more turned on by seeing like I think when Love. I saw like Jason's lyric, and that was hot. You know what I mean? Wow, What's the name? Oh, I, that was hot. I you know, I, I like some, no, you know, the, some time. steamy, some hot, you know, just yeah. romantic, and then it's just. You know, that, that that's hot. You know, mm. that's all I'm saying. Power, you know, shout out to 50 Cent. He has You seen Monsters scenes. Ball? I did not. Okay. Nah, but that shit was disgusting, bro. Was, oh, I wait was, a minute. With, with Halle Berry, Berry and, and, and... That was... It, it was nasty. I'm just, can I'm we just... just no, I'm, it, I'm, it, no, it, it was bad. Know, just for a second. It was bad. See, Listen, like, we're black like people. Like, if you have two sexy bro, we, 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 people we, we, and they, you know You're what into mean? it. You're like, into it. Like, that? Yeah, yeah. No. She said, but that? No, but seriously, that shit was nasty. But guess what? She got an Academy Award. She got a fucking Academy Award. See? For letting the white dude so, hit so her. Now right. No, but, but, but hit it terribly. Like, so now she's validated? Yes. Because the stamp of approval. You said Brad Pitt, right? That's what you said. I did say if Brad Pitt, Pitt says, oh, that's a good Negro, they win. That's what happened with Halle Berry. Because you can't, you can't tell me. With, she was with old boy. Mm-hmm. What's his name? Uh, Billy, Billy Bob Billy, 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 come on now. Billy Bob. I was going to say Billy Ray Cyrus. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. One of the Billies. Like. You feel me? No, but it Damn. looked so disgusting. No, it, it was, was bad. Disgusting. It was so disgusting. It, it looked like it stunk. Good about that. It looked like it stank. It's not good. It's a bad scene. It was one of the first times this mic again. <laughs> it's to the we, point We don't get new mics, y'all. It's all good. We're going to be there. <laughs> we we going to get there, y'all. We going to get there. Got, but if you got two hot people, I mean, think no, no, about no, it. You're more inclined to watch. It's to the point that. hot girl. It's to the point that. it's more like. Romantic, Halle Berry, and intense. You for like, the first time, Dude. Halle Berry is butt ass naked on a movie screen. Mind you, this is Halle Berry, 90s. Halle no, Berry, this boomerang. This Halle is Berry. Halle butt ass naked. But it was and we horrible. hated it. Everyone did. Yeah. We all was like, but Billy Bob Thornton loved it. All right, I bet he did. <laughs> and so Billy. did the white folks. He loved it. So that's not, all right. So. He loved it. Yeah, that wasn't. So I think, yeah. All right, so if we get back to the porn question. Yeah, no. It's, I do think. That you was jaded from bad porn. Probably so. So if you just saw some hot shit, no. But to be honest with you, if you if if you listen to what she's saying, mm-hmm. porn the it doesn't matter the category. Yeah, she's more matters. she's more in tuned with the 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 looks of the people, the chemistry that they share. Yeah. If she could buy into yeah. the story, the love. She, no, yeah, she'll she'll rather like she said Jason's lyric. 
Yeah. No, because because yeah. that was the thing when Jason was like, there. Like, number one, the sex looked real. It, it was hot. It looked authentic. And, and, and I remember and that being. In, a, so you like you like you, to be into you like Titanic. What? No, I'm, I'm, go, I'm going off of the steaminess of the, 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 the Ew, scene. Fuck that movie. All we yeah, want to see was the boat crash. Yeah. I mean, fuck these white people. I'm, I'm talking, I'm talking uh, about the sex scene. We had to watch all that to wait for the boat to sink. No, but no, no, um, no I, I was talking about the sex scene. All right, so, 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 so. It's I'm, not I'm memorable. Okay. So I can't say So what's another, what's, what's no, a memorable what you're sex scene? I'm, uh, I'm just trying to get to sex scenes. You said power. You said power. So what I got it, cause no, no, cause they be fucking on power. We know that. Okay, so get rich or die trying when 50, when 50 had shorty in the tub. Did you watch Get Richard Die Trying? Well, I seen it, but I can't remember. Okay, because he had Shorty in the tub and she was fire. So Jesus then, Christ. Fine. Now that you put us in another space, our brains are working. We're trying to find a way to make this. Yeah. Easy. So then, what hot, like what, what? Okay, so we got power. We got power. We got Jason's lyric. What, what is hot? Like, I'm just curious. You're a woman. Like, I'm just curious. Like, what else? Like, you know. Like a, since like, you don't watch okay, porn. Let me give you a description of one of the scenes yeah. that stands out to me in power. So like. Dude was dealing with the chick Angela. Shout out to Angela. And I think they was like, I and I know her. they was at this. It was like this room or something. And you can like, see the whole was, skyline. Yes. Got you. So you like the, hot, the setting? Man. That is hot. That the was, setting. Man, okay. Listen. Okay. Listen. Some porn got some that good settings. Hot, you know. No, they got good settings. They got some good settings. But you like, like I don't what? have to actually see the actual graphics of this interact, but that interaction, that you know, that intensity, that steaminess, that, that does it for you. You know, that passion. That you know, does it for you. That's what would get me. You know, that would excite. That's what excites hmm. me. That other stuff is that's just interesting. Not. Honestly, as she's speaking, I'm trying to think of memorable sex scenes that, like, I can just recall. I'm trying to think who else has a good. Um, hmm. Memorable one. That's a good question. And we Ladies and gentlemen bring... that's watching, they, in the comment section below, let us know of a yeah, dope a good, sex a good, scene hot, that, like, passionate hot, passionate. Sex scene. It's like, oh, wow. Yeah, Some, okay, you know what? No, but Some, that's a good topic. Something that made you uncomfortable in front of your parents. Nah. That's just, like, nah, when, when it happens, it's like, yeah. oh. I mean, I'm you ever, you ever watch TV? And you try to act like you're like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got, you got a front. Like, like, oh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. I, I would never look at this, man. They're doing what? that? That's it's crazy. crazy. What? It's like, that. Well, my God. Who are some actors that had um, some high sex? That's scenes. crazy. I mean, I'm, you, bro, I'm from the 80s, my nigga. Like, you know, I remember. The, the, there were sex scenes crazy in the 80s like that? No, I don't know. I'm not from that time. go back, they all look like bone chicken, wow, wow, with the Brown chicken, brown cow. Oh, joke. With the Cigarette smoke at the end. It was all bad. <laughs> or like really hot shower scenes, like somebody in a, okay. a shower That's scene. I'm just saying it's something I never really thought. Like, okay, mm. so, so you you into she's into the passion. Yes. So okay, so she's not, not into just a big. I can understand dick. why porn wouldn't work for her. You know what I'm saying? No, but I get it. Yeah, porn wouldn't work because nah. there's no. What's the big backstory? Black dick, and I just got to put right. on the side a big fat black wet pussy. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to be. I just want to be a dick. Yeah. Just, Question: You brought it up. It just it just triggered me. You ever watch the porn? And yep, no, no, nigga, you brought me here. It's your, your fuck you. You brought me here, so you, we got to deal with it now. You've been friends too uh -oh. long. Yes. Uh -oh. You ever you ever watch the porn? And you was like, God damn, they got a big ass dick. <laughs> you, ever, you ever watched the porn and said that, <laughs> or thought I it? Said that today. <laughs> 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 I literally was like, all right, I can't do this because this thing's too big. <laughs> fuck you, bro. Like, I'm jealous. Like, you ever watch it and got like, oh, my, my God. good. Like, fuck you, fam. Like, I got mad. I was like, nope, I'm oh, not. I'm I know. Not. Dynasty, had, I'm sorry. Um, I sorry. Think, um, did y'all ever see um, Addicted? Addicted? Addicted. Addicted. I wouldn't even watch nothing like that. Stupid. <laughs> hey. it was no, with, I haven't um, seen that. Um, Joke. She had, I'm trying to think who her husband was. Was it Boys Coach? This is a movie or a TV yeah, show? It's a Tyler Perry joint? Sorry, but you know he's, he's everywhere. We got but Google. It was, Let's it find it. It may have been one of his. It was good though. Mm -hmm. But they had. You said Boris Kojo. I think Boris Kojo was the. Um, Are we just husband. naming black people? Because <laughs> we know black people be in movies. Why well, black people movies? But it was it was it was the wife, and she was she was off the chain. Oh, she was. I did see that. She was addicted. I don't Boom, know. Who's addicted. In it. Okay. Yeah, I don't Boris know Kojo was in addicted. Was yes. Right, who, so who's that person? was some hot. It stuff. got five out of ten on IMDb. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was a bad movie. That was. Some, yeah. I saw it though. But the sex scenes came out in 2014. It's okay. a thriller. Also, they got good sex scenes in there. Yeah. Yep, Boris Kojo. Who's a, who's a Tasha wife? Smith is in there. Tasha Smith, we know her from. from um, yeah, because she was the Sharon Leal. 
She was a shrink. Sharon Lil, ain't that the one? That's the one that told Tyler Perry that she she she, she clipped her shit. Wait, I don't know. I'm yeah, wrong. I think. Well, well I'm just talking no. a different movie. Cat Graham is on here. I, I know the names, but yeah. I, I I do know. Yeah, that was good. Nah, I, okay. You know I what's wondering. funny? I did see this movie. I feel like I now did, that I'm looking at I it. I saw that movie. I said, uh, yeah. Okay. I don't remember the sex scenes from it though. Yeah, you know what it is? That, 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 that's how desensitized I am. We're very desensitized. I'm so really? desensitized. I, I can't even, like, you said you can recall that? Yeah. Literally, I'm thinking, what porn? I had to think like, of actors. But you I've know seen. what it is? I think because you were jaded, porn-wise. <laughs> no, no, no. I think you didn't get as far as we, the rest of the week went way, way past, past that. Way, 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 way. Wow. No, because crazy. she's going for the passion and the feeling yeah. and the yeah. emotion. Yeah. We and also like uh, the action. Man, the titties, pussy, booty, yeah. asshole. Like, and you know, it like, does it for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're, oh, yeah. yeah. No. So we're, that, we're, that we're, that okay. for me. I'm, I'm, you just I'm, taught me something. I'm, <laughs> Dynasty, I'm not going to lie. We've been doing this show. This is episode three. And three something. <laughs> like we, we 300 deep. You're the first person to say that you do not watch porn. Yeah, no, but I actually believe me. her. No, I believe yeah. her as well. You know, like, the, the conversation we're having. Watch, we'd be like, shut up. You lie. Yeah, it's like you lying like shit. No. No, I, I believe it. Yeah, it doesn't matter. And, 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 and you but she also ex- cleared it up. She, ex- she, I'm like, well, ever shit. so eloquently. <laughs> she's like, I'm a person that likes passion. So yeah. that, that random one, two, knock on the door, hey, here's your Domino's pizza. Yeah. <laughs> it, it and do- all of a sudden, in 60 seconds, they're on the counter. And I'm like, Cause n- not for nothing. Come through home slice. You could just fast like, forward it. It's like, it. Oh, he's extra cheesy. It's like okay, <laughs> like I know that. Like, how did they, How did that even? There's no correlation. Yeah, it's yeah. just action. Okay, yeah. I get that. Yeah, I get that. Listen. All right. I do. We got a game to play. Okay. Y'all not gonna rob me of this game. No, because okay. you brought it today. Yes, we gonna play this game. Honestly, he always talk about the game, but then he don't be bringing it. <laughs> so. We've had this. Okay, I can't leave until I play yes. this game. This is it. Okay. We go. We go. We go. This is the last shit. Yeah. Okay. I appreciate you for rocking with us. I okay. know we sometimes we Everybody talk a little crazy. Two but pieces of paper. Two I pieces of paper. Red flag. I'm sorry. And Everybody. One's a flame. Everybody gets two um, laminated sheets here. One is a red flag. And one is a flame. Did you do this at work? Where yes, did, I did. Where did you get the laminates? At work. <laughs> <This is> nice. <laughs> Stealing materials. Wow. <laughs> Come on now. You probably, right. Stealing materials at doing work. That. You know how right. we do? No, but I'm going to read off a bunch of scenarios, and I want everybody to raise One. their hand if it's a red flag for red you. Flag. Okay. Like, I don't like it. No. Okay, okay. okay. Or okay. if it's lit. All right. Okay. <laughs> it's right? lit. So once red again, flag. flame. Okay. I mean, sorry, a uh, flag, flag for I don't really fuck with that. Fuck with and that. flame for, or it's lit, it's, it's a go. Lit. Okay. We have a, a multitude Fire of, yeah. or flag. I a got multitude it. of different scenarios. All right. I'm down. That I want to read. So, we're going to start. I got to raise my thing. We'll yeah, we're we, we going to start slight and then we're going to work our way up, okay? Um, the individual that you are with. Smoke cigarettes. Is that a red flag or is that cool with you? Cigarettes. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Cool. So that's a red flag for me. Red flag. If you smoke cigarettes, it's a no go. Like it, it's yeah, your hair smell nasty. Yeah, your, 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 all your clothes, clothes smell nasty. Your clothes, yeah, your car smell horrible. nasty. Yeah. yeah, I can't do that. Cool. So that's pretty much how the game is gonna go. Okay. So, you, you, cool. But have you dated the person that smoked cigarettes? Never. never. You never, never stayed with him. It was never. over for you. Ne- yeah, no, no, no. I I, I've never even started. Yeah. A, a relationship yeah. or a relation. Like you gotta kiss that ashtray. Yes, uh, ashtray. <laughs> ashtray. Ashtray. Max. I, I gave it a shot once. Like, go ahead, talk. Go ahead. I say never it, do it, it again. I never to do it again. I did give it a shot. Yo, matter of fact, you know the girl, but it's alright. We'll talk about it later. Whoa, whoa! I know the girl. I, I have no microphone. In my head. No, 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 but I'm in my head. I'm like trying to find a way. Matter of fact, no, matter of fact, no, no, no. We're not going to say no names. Person. We're not going to say no names. Say no. We're not going to say no names. I don't want none of my people getting in trouble because so of Willow. All right, let's move on. Well, I, I just, I'm just saying, I'm, 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 a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm not saying that I like, I, I like it or love it or not. I'm just saying I'm a chance taker. I'm like, well, I mean, if that's the only problem, you know what I'm saying? Because imagine if a person. No, but that's a man, big problem, bro. It's that's a huge, huge problem. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's a, that's a, that's a malfunction. Yeah, that's, <laughs> like, that's that is a conundrum. Like, that is big. Pause. Not having arms, you can't hug me <laughs> no, like, at all. Hug me. I, I wanna okay, hug so <laughs> um, the no individual <laughs> that you are with mm-hmm. makes more money than you. Mm. 
Is that a red flag or is that lit? I'm going to go with lit. I'm of course. Go with if, lit. Listen, if you making more money than hey, me, I'm, we I'm, out here. Come I'm on really now. We out here. <laughs> and if you got another opportunity to make some more money, you feel yeah, me? I'll be like, we, what you need me we to do, work, baby? We what working on a, need to do, you. baby? We I working on a dynasty. Is that hello? You feel me? We working on a dynasty. Like, come on now. And she on watch porn, fam. Fam. You got no competition, bro. I understand it's just you, bro. Like, the fuck? Okay. Just you, nigga. Okay. The individual that you are with has a best friend of the opposite sex. Ooh. Best friend of the opposite sex. Best friend of the opposite are we sex. We all agreeing? What the fuck? Damn. Wait. wait okay. Wait, I'm wait, mad. We, we all agree. Yeah, we I can't agree. To we, fuck it. You know what? We can't yeah, agree fire. on everything. <laughs> we can't lie. agree on it's everything. Not, no, no, but it's not fire. It's not lit. I don't like it. It's not nah. lit. So can we talk about this? Can we expound on this? For two, yeah. two seconds? Yeah, we? a couple of seconds, and then we go to the next one. So we don't want, our, our, we, we don't condone, no, we don't, we wouldn't wish that our partners have a best friend of the opposite sex. Yeah, like it's not exciting. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like, yes, yeah. but I'm like, I mean, if it happens, eh. You know what's funny? <laughs> yeah. I feel like a big ass hypocrite because in my life, my best friend is a woman. It's true. And my best friend died. That was a man. He's 30. Sorry to hear that. R.I.P. to the man, yeah. But I think that, you know, in 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 it Dynasty, all depends we're hypocrites. on how yes we are. <laughs> we're hypocrites. Um, no, I, yeah, I, we, I, mean, we, we I take it. I take it. But however, with he and I, if we were in relationships, we fell back. You know what I mean? Now if we weren't in relationships, then we kinda hung out together all the time, all the time. But I think it's all in how you handle it. I got a question. Oh, I got a question. When you're best friends with the opposite sex, yeah. and especially if it's two attractive people, mm-hmm. right. you know, it can be hard <laughs> to be around your mate because y'all know, just like y'all know each other so well, no, no, yep. no, you we made, knew I, each other so no, well. She kind of made a joke. She preaches. Because if you yeah. got a best friend that's opposite sex, but they ugly and stanky and shit, it's like, well, I mean, yeah, they, you, like I mean, you that, see up. Like, yeah, you see up. Like, it's my goddamn you be friend. Like this, you like this. <laughs> I'm not worried about yeah, it. You know what I mean? uh, my goddamn oh, friend. Okay. Oh, that's your best friend? Yeah. Keep that best friend. <laughs> I love her for you. Yes, I, <laughs> I love, love her for you. you. You guys, I love that. But like, <laughs> you can come around anytime, okay? Anytime, okay? Wait, but no, but Dynasty, I got to ask a question now. What's your question? You and your best friend, did y'all have anything going on? Ooh, did y'all do anything? Okay, yeah. cool. No, no. I respect it. I respect yeah. it. I respect yeah. it. I yeah. respect it. If that's your best friend, y'all can't beat and had fucked. No. Because then that's an ex. Right. <laughs> I agree. You know what right. I'm saying? It's an ex. And, and that, that's... that's but that that's why your best friend. <laughs> that's why I put the yeah, flag right, right. up. It's your ex. That but that's why I put the flag up because that's no longer your best friend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I that's feel. True. I personally feel like you can't be best friends with someone you've had relations with. with. Right. I feel like you cross right. the line. Right. You're no longer what friends. Music soldier, I say, damn, I just want my friend back. Yeah, you, right. and, and, and you, can't. you can't. You can't. You can't. It's a fact. Yeah, okay, Mary cool. Mary J. Blige said it too. Monday, a friend of mine. Oh, Tuesday, Tuesday. <laughs> Wednesday. Like, come on, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say this. I'm not the biggest Mary J. Blige fan. Oh, let's not do it. For, no, no, for for not reasons. In front of the singer. No, no, but I, I stand by that my claim. That happens very much like Mary J. Blige. We could talk about it off air because okay, I, I right. have some grievances for oh, real. You have some grievances. Okay, okay, okay all cool. Right, all right. Um, <laughs> okay, <I> understand. <laughs> yeah, but I, okay. yeah, I think it's a red flag. Here we go once again. Got you. Your partner has multiple kids by multiple people. Is that a red flag or is it lit? <laughs> lit, nigga. No, of course. The fuck? <laughs> I deal with all no, them days. No, no, but imagine somebody's like, that's what I'm looking for specifically. No, but it's uh, <laughs> It'd be like Frank coming over here to get little Johnny no, and, and, and Luke coming over here to get no, Susan. But, 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 and then, yeah, oh, oh, don't forget Trey will be here to no, pick no, up. Imagine uh, the person. Imagine the person. <laughs> you'd be like. Yeah, God damn. Yeah. But imagine the person that's happy for that. Like, yes. yes. <laughs> Hello, Luke. <laughs> Hello, John. Come on Hello. in. <laughs> all these babies. Yeah. All these baby daddies. And all these baby daddies. That's hilarious. hilarious. Yo, <laughs> that is hilarious. Is like, yes. And now we can go out. <laughs> All they daddies. The I kids. love you, baby. <laughs> you met day one. You like wait a minute. You gotta have four kids to buy four different. Things. Like you have like listen, you need to. Okay, another one. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Like, what Another one. Let's load right, it up. Let's do it. Let's do it. 
We got it. Your partner does not give good oral sex. <laughs> no, well, Dame, I Dame, I think you're lying, bro. No, no, Dame, don't follow us because what we doing. But that's a red flag to me. That's a red fucking flag I mean, to me. I've, I've had the teacher, you know. If you, no. you know, you know, like, just stop, stop, stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I'm there. No, you're not lying, though. You're not lying. You're not lying. You're like, what the fuck are you doing? Okay, let's just what are you doing? You, you want to play dominoes? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to play right, Monopoly? Right, let's, let's get pizza. Netflix it is. For real. <laughs> no, but you didn't answer. You didn't answer, but don't answer because we answer it. No, but I'm mad because I don't like what this means. This means, <laughs> yeah. No, nigga, but it's not a red flag. So, so, so answer. It's one or the other, sir. That and this hard. is why the game matters. Because, But it ain't lit, though. He's not playing the game right. <laughs> this game matters. Demo. <laughs> All games matter. Do, your, do what you're supposed to do. <laughs> I mean, I got, well, it, it, based on the game, the game matters. I would have to go red flag. Okay, cool. All right. It's a red flag, right. so we red flag with. But I don't because it. it ain't lit though. Like I ain't like <laughs> yeah. Give me bad That's head. That's what I want. Like, who the fuck? I want bad head. Like who the fuck? That's Mm-mm. what the game is. That's what the game is. Okay. But I have definitely dealt with women who you know. You you want to expound on it or no? no? What what's, what was their name? Stop it. What did it sound? What did it rhyme with? Uh, egg the alien. Anyway. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> and that's why. Never mind. It's gonna be a terrible joke. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Stop the it. individual that you're dealing with asks for money immediately <laughs> after y'all start talking. Immediately, <laughs> like. <laughs> Laughing because this is the world we live in today. No, I'm, but I'm asking yeah, this question. It is. It is. Women are like you want to go out with me? Are you paying my bills? Are you yeah. just like they ask for money immediately? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I, I, okay. Cool. Well, they start talking about yeah, I got problems with doing this. Oh. And you be like yup, I hope you work that out. Bye. <laughs> you know what's <laughs> funny? You know what's funny? I, I I hate to do this, but fuck it, I'm gonna do it because I feel like I'm gonna be cheating us if I don't say this. It has nothing to do with a relationship, but it was more, it was, it was family. Yeah. My aunt called me and, hey, Jay, how you doing? Everything good. Auntie, how you doing? Everything is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, the, the, the water bill just keep getting higher and the, 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 uh, the, 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 the hot water cooler just broke in the basement and, uh, you know, Sarah, Sarah, I got to pay for the school bus yeah. fee. It's like, did you just uh, call me to ask right. for money, but you did it like right. underhandedly? Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It turned me off so bad. I was like, okay, I'm going to call you back. And, right. Like, you be and like, listen, my dishwasher's not working either. I know yeah. she is. You know <laughs> like, what I'm right. saying? Like, I, my, my sink is, I, matter of fact, I got to go right now because the like, oh, is on his way here. I, I got to cost me a million dollars. I got to walk my fish. I'm going to call you right, right back because it's like, there's no <laughs> way you call me on that stupid. I hated, I hated that for her. Like, like, but that's a recent conversation. Wow. Like real life. Like I, I hate that. Why do we do that as people? Why we can't just call and say, just "Yo, say I'm need. fucked up. Can you help me? Can you help me? And if yeah. not, it's okay. I, I respect it. But yeah. this, this is where I'm at right now. Yeah. Why we can't do that? I don't know. Have you? Okay. Let's do that one. Just two minutes. Yeah. Go you ahead. Are, he gets mad at me because I don't ask for help. I'm one of them. Oh, it pisses me off. I'll yeah. fall over and everything will fall yeah, over. Yeah, I'm like, you know, like, ah, ah, no, I'm good. Yeah, no, but no, that, that pisses me off. Yeah. If, but, you, if you don't vocalize. But I, but that's what I'm asking. Are you that type of person? You, I am. You seem like a loner where you work. I'm you, independent you, as heck. Yeah, I So like you the that. type, like, 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 like this whole shit could follow you. We're like, you good? You're like, I'm good. Or I'm you like, would well, like, I tried that one, but that one caught me now. You had to help me get this one up off me. I don't know. Yeah. But, yeah. But I try to, you know, I'm, I'm more of an independent person. I don't like that as well. Mm-hmm. But th- is, it, is it hard for you to ask for help? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. As much as he, I was about to say the B word, uh, complains take, take at me. Take your shot, brother. No, no, complains <laughs> at me that I don't do it. He the same way. Yeah. That's not true. Nah, that boy, that boy hate the ass felt. That's not but true. I think it's a good way to be. Well, no, wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait. I'm, I'm sorry to cut you off because you were just saying something that, <laughs> that was rude. The too. The, your rebuttal poses a different question. Uh, do I hate to ask for help? Yes. But will I without hesitation? Yes. Oh, and okay. that's the difference. That's 
That is different. Actually. Yes. So, so I, I want to show reverence to your statement because you are correct. Do I hate to ask for help? Absolutely. Because I shouldn't be in a situation where I need help. I should be able to figure we it all out. should be okay. Yeah. But will I? I will. You won't. And that's the issue I have. I mean, I I pretty much figure, try to figure it out. He'll be on the whole shit. We have to. I'll be on the Titanic. Hit the hit the hit the shit, and then I'm like, I think I need help. Uh, the ship is the ship is sinking. Are, are you that way? <laughs> like I'm that way. Like it, no, it's, it's code red, man. and yeah, then like you say something, or the the before moment. it gets yeah. code red, I you'll say something. That I'm not that bad because I know that. I'm bad. What I like is that I know my friends or my family know. If she asks for it, we'll step then up. She really need it. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. I mean? because she yeah, don't ask she for don't nothing. Ask. Right. So if she's asking, that we know it's really like, needed. yo, it's, it's shit hit the fan. Yeah, like it's, it's time real. to go. Yeah, mm-hmm. interesting. Got it. So yeah, I, I had to I had to separate that because you tried to paint me in a way just yeah. now. I, I, we're not going for that. That's what it is. Are we done? No, no, no. I mean, I got a couple more. If y'all want to go, no, no, no. I'm just, I'm just, keep going. Let's keep going. Let's knock it out. Okay. The individual that you're with, they are well kept, but their kids look a mess. <laughs> is, that, is that a red flag or is it lit? Can I just be fire for no reason? Like, <laughs> that's fire. Yo, bring me all the shit. That's You look amazing, <laughs> like, babe. Yo, bring me that all the shit. You look like, amazing, <laughs> babe. Yo, no. Of so, course. That's, no, yeah, that's, that's a crazy that's red flag. Yeah, that's crazy. I actually hate but, that. No, but it's funny, cause, but this happens a lot. It does. And it to does. be, can, mm, can I be honest? You you have kids, right? Absolutely. You have kids. One son. You got a son. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you had my to deal son with had to be fly. Right. Right. Okay. That's what I was going. That's what I was going. But you know what's funny? And I don't, the, I don't have kids. The, so I don't know. I was gonna say. Yeah. Women, for the most part, make sure that their kids look amazing. Right. 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 It's the guys. <laughs> no, it's, it, I, I hate is to it say. The guys? It's the guys. Nah, there's some women. Is that, it? It's some women. I've seen it with women too, but there's some women that make sure they dime diva, but their kids be looking like Raggedy Ann and Andy. It was funny. I, I can't speak to it because I haven't seen that personally. I have seen cool. So, so I, I respect I mean, I've seen, that. I've seen I it on the women's seen. side. I've seen. I've she literally seen it. That irks me. He just got. Red on the bottom. I know. <laughs> like, I, like, I, it's I, Kool-Aid, I, I, bro. I, but, clean it. Clean it. Are we having the same conversation right now? I don't. Let me expound and let me know if we're having the same conversation. Right. Uh, what I've seen is um, a mom doing her best to make sure that she's keeping up everything she has to keep up with. Are you talking about but, struggle? No, no, but the dad is out living life, popping bottles, taking all the vacations, taking all the oh, trips, wow. looking amazing, and he's not contributing to anything on that side. Oh, wow. Yo, Young Thug would be so upset. You're stupid. I just want to point out. Like, no, but, but I guess that, <laughs> that, that's what I thought when I thought of this. Oh, okay. I thought okay. of, because you said you see women do that, right? Mm-hmm. But does that woman have help to do anything else? Well, she could take her butt to go get a three hundred dollar hairdo and nails done and makeup yeah. and. But and that's shoes. the that's but that's the then industry why standard your right kids now. kids don't look like I wouldn't care what the industry standard is. But your kids are supposed to be well kept before you. So Got you. if you can go out here and spend all that money right. on mm-hmm. your side, now I'm I'm just talking about average everyday chicks just trying to. Yeah, be yeah. yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? But you spending all this yeah. money on the reckless. Phone, but your kids is looking, you know, raggedy. Come on now, really? Agreed. Your shoes but, shouldn't be more than your kids' nah, outfit. your kids are supposed to look, you know. <laughs> like, but at the same time, it takes two to tango. Uh oh. It does. Oh, and we gonna make it a black. Uh, no, no, I, I don't. This is, I, I, this is supposed to be a fun, lighthearted yeah, segment. I don't it, want it to get crazy. To get too deep, but man. at the yeah. same, at the Damn same it. time, <laughs> at the same time, I can stand on my own too right now and say that my my son wants for nothing. Right. Right. He wants for nothing. Mm-hmm. Me and mom may not be together, but he wants for nothing. Right. Whatever he needs, he got, and I take pride in that because I didn't grow up in that household. Right. Young but Doug I, would be so disappointed in your mom. He would. Right. But at the same time, I, I I then can't turn around and blame that woman for not providing for her and the kid because it, it's just a lot to provide. Yeah, that's okay. Well, but what I'm lot. saying is you do the best you can, but if you are spending extravagant amounts of money on yourself and you're not taking care of your child, then I, no, I, get, I get that point. I get that the point. Funds, you just try, you just spend it on you. Yeah, what and is you it? Misallocating? Sure your yeah, you're not allocating the Miss, funds. You're not allocating the funds. Yeah, you're, you're, yeah, yeah, you're yeah, misallocating yeah. the funds. Yeah, yeah. Misallocate. No, no, but even if it's the guy in your in your scenario that you painted, yeah. that dude is wrong. 
Right. He's, an, you know, he's an asshole. He's, wrong. he's an asshole for yeah, that. He's he straight up wrong. He should definitely be stepping up he's and taking care of that child as well. Yeah, yeah of mm. course. Mm-hmm. All right. We got any more, man? I, you you want to do one more? Yeah, I got to go. All right, cool. We're going we gonna to do right. one more. We're going to do one more. This is a funny one. <laughs> but the person that you're with or, or attempting to be with only takes pictures from the neck up. That's a you want a Tinder profile? It's only pictures from the, that's the neck up. Name. Yo, that's hilarious. That's a setup. Is what that is. It is a setup. We've agreed on all of these, but I want to be the dick. Like, it's well, lit. I love it, baby. It's give lit. me that face. You better give me that face. Yeah, <laughs> you better give me that hot. goddamn face. That's <laughs> not, <laughs> yeah, that's not popping. Listen, yeah, no, listen, listen. Dog. I would like to say I've had fun. I did. Yeah, I did too. I'm not gonna lie. I had fun. Too. Seriously, yeah, this has been too. dope. Mm-hmm. Um, if we can, if we can culminate everything, Meg the Stallion, stop lying. <laughs> um, um, Shit, young thug, it? take care of your kids <laughs> properly, and and stop saying, stop speaking from black privilege because right. that that is the now thing. You are black right. Yeah, that's black yeah. privilege. So yeah, stop yeah. speaking from it. Um. Um, uh, she don't like porn. Dynasty don't like porn at all. <laughs> so stop sending her the links. So stop, yo, don't, Y'all be sending don't, her don't links. Be, don't be DMing her. Don't be sending her no bro, damn don't links. Don't DM me. She don't like that, it. Cause I'm, I'm a delete you. She, she yeah. don't like it. But you know what's funny? Your, your show is called Dynasty's DMs Extended. Yes. And in, in my head, in my head, I I'm thought I'm pissed because he made the joke first. No, and I'm pissed because I was thinking it the whole time. In my head, in my head, I thought the show started with your DMs was lit. Like they was just in Dude, your DMs we're asking. Right, we're real quick, real quick, real quick. Real quick. It's Do you even messages. understand how the words work? Dynasty got it, but DMs yeah, extended. extended. It's like okay, we about to get into these it's, DMs, bro. We about to. In layman's term, it's mad because dick pics. Yes, <laughs> like your show and, is and you mad know what? dicks. I had never gotten one except one time. <laughs> and I, but for a long time, I had never gotten one. And people was like, Wait, "You question. never got a I was question. Like, no question. She had no idea. Was That's it true. was it intriguing? Oh, a good question. Did you like it the It was dick? shocking. I get that. No, we, cool. Okay. Shock. Once you shock. get over the shock. Once, once you get over the shock value. Because it was it? not a person I was dating. That's what DMs are. Yes. It, it, I, I am and, shooting my shot right now. I'm not going to put somebody on blast. But we don't need to know their names. No, we don't got to name the person. <laughs> somebody had told me that this person had a habit of doing this to just random, just uh, anybody. Uh, like, I get the one dick from so the, the dick like, guy. Like, ew. Yes, well, this, is, this is why yes. I hate niggas, And bro. I was like, nah, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. Because I know the individual, but... That this person oh, so you knew it. them? Yes, and I he know still the did it. Yes. Did it so, change your relationship with him? No, because the person oh, okay. had already told me that this person was capable. Of doing <laughs> this that. girl, so girl, like, this is what he does. No, no, you it was that guy that told this is, me. You met oh, the guy. A guy that told me that. Oh, he was know, dirty macking. Yeah. Oh. So the no, no, no. The no, guy he was. that knows. Because other women will come to him because it's kind of like they're in the same circle. Oh, you know what your homeboy so does? Women, right, right. Like, <laughs> Yo, oh, Eric, <laughs> Eric, <laughs> nigga, Eric, <laughs> nigga, Eric is bugging out. No, so it might have been you like five or six o'clock Eric. in the morning when I got this, and I'm like, you know. I'm, oh, five in the morning. Like, so I had to tell dude, I was like, oh my god, I got one of those things from this particular. That's he crazy. said, I told you. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. So, so, okay, so let's get past all that. My question to you is. Did you like the picture? Seriously. Uh, like, was it, was I it, was deleted it, but I would say it was a bit much, and I was like, I would never climb that mountain. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Okay. No arguing, no arguing, okay. no arguing. But that's okay. the, the, I'm sorry. We just, it's like, we I was you, like, whoa. You know, at the end of the day, but then you, I told one of my girlfriends, and I, I, I said, I deleted it. And she was like, why? Damn, you I want to see yes! it. Yes! Women yeah. ain't shit, yo. Like, yeah. They want to like, see it. You gotta I was keep, like, yo, I deleted it. See it. You got to say, like, you gotta say something like, like that. Girl, you should have let me say I was like, I'm sorry. Uh, you probably would have enjoyed it. Listen, it's been a hell of a show. Yes. Um, make sure you like, share, follow, subscribe, <laughs> all that good stuff. Dynasty, can you please let the people know where to find you? <laughs> yeah. You can find me on IG, D-Y-N-A-S-T-I, 55. You can find me on Black Ink Radio. You Come can find on me now. on Facebook, Dynasty Smith. You Listen, can just Google we, Dynasty Smith. We outside. And all my platforms, music and everything will come up. So just Google Dynasty love Smith it. and you can I like find it. Me. I like it. Great you, you got Thank anything you. For, for the let out? Anything that's coming out? Anything that you're working on? What's going on? I'm always working on new music, my nigga. 
nigga. You okay, know that. New music more coming. That, I just want to say thank you because I appreciate it. And I appreciate you just letting loose and... <laughs> I know, no, this has been great. I've had fun. Uh, I've had fun. I've had fun. Yeah. 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 You know, I will uh, say on, on on for my closing, I sent you some shit. I got music on the way. Got music videos on the way. On it, it's gonna be a vibe. This summer is gonna be oh, interesting. I'll my next EP. Boom! You're you should have said that. I should have said that. You should have said that. You're clearly on it. I better I was, be. You, nigga, you would not. No, because I'm I'm flipping everything if I'm not. Of course. Okay. I'm flipping tables I and chairs. Out the album without you. Anyway, <laughs> everything. We see y'all next week. Yeah, we out. We lit. Okay, let's lit. Let's lit. Let's lit. You know what? Man, I just want to thank you so much for tuning into Willow Wednesdays. We love and appreciate facts, the support. Facts, facts. Yeah, yeah. If you ain't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button for the YouTube page. Big facts. Yes, yes, yes. And click the bell for notifications. Mm-hmm. And make sure to join that family page, the Willow Wednesday family page on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Peace. Bow.